Hello, this is Jess, and this is uh, day 36, February 5th, 2020, uh, Wednesday evening, uh, around, I'd say, 10 p.m. Um, quite a bit of snow on the ground outside, and it's going down into the 20s, and it's pretty darn cold. That's okay. It's back and forth, hot and cold, whatever. It's okay. It's the way the weather is. What are you going to do? <clears throat> um, so, I guess the the main news of this date is uh, the Senate with the acquittal of uh, our President Trump. And uh, the beat goes on. All these things uh, will come to pass the way they do. Um, I have <clears throat> my own opinions of the garbage that uh, has been put on display from both the House and the Senate. The, the games that are being played and we, the American people, are the ones who watch and really benefit nothing from it. Um, we we don't have any due process uh, of, of job, of, of all of it, the whole thing. I mean, it was just, uh, I'm sure the people that support the president are happy. Uh, which is fine, be happy all you want, but realize uh, your happiness is is uh, mired in in uh, the lies and the deceit and the division and the uh, threat to our national security as a country uh, ride with you. Um, Sure, we have all these things. Oh, you know, people say, "Oh, the economy's great," and and uh, um, and then that's true, I guess, for some aspects of of our country, um, the economic activity and in the uh, <clears throat> oil industry and in the uh, gas industry, uh, relatively stable and on the upswing. Uh, a lot of People working out there that, uh, and I don't blame them. Anybody, they, they're working, they're making money. And Trump happens to be president, so they, they get that in their ear and they run with it. But we've overlooked some very, uh, simple, uh, I guess, characteristics of what America is supposed to stand about. <clears throat> and uh, I think that these uh, court proceedings, the breaking of the law, they even the ones who didn't vote to remove Trump from office, they openly are running around and saying, yeah, we admit that he did those things and uh, we just don't think they're impeachable. And since we're in control of the, of the Senate, that's what's going to happen. He's going to be acquitted. Um, they knew beforehand the uh, the whole. It was just a big circus. Um, I don't feel comfortable with the uh, way it was handled on the House side, uh, and I and I'm 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 a liberal. Okay, I don't know, uh, but I I also have feelings against the people that maybe in my category of political leanings. I think it was handled poorly. Um, there was no true respect. It could have turned into a a real uh, situation, but instead it was handled maybe poorly. Uh, of course, the fairness was already knocked out on the Senate by all the Republicans uh, deciding way beforehand that this was going to be an easy no no, you know, hands down acquittal. <clears throat> well, the, they, there was new evidence that came to light during the Senate uh, trial and they refused to hear it. 
refused to have people that, uh, key witnesses that could have changed the direction, uh, only by choice of the Senate since the Republicans own it, whether or not it would have mattered. But I, but I, I, I beg each person to consider going into a court, you know, a trial that's for you and, uh, being found guilty and then not getting any charges. It wasn't worth having the trial over, you know. Um, unfortunately, in the presidency, uh, you know, the whole the whole thing about being in office and use your office's power to create money for yourself, um, that is totally what we don't stand for in this country, but apparently there's a uh, group of folks who feel that we're going to overlook all the the law aspects of the presidency and what he should abide by and be be controlled by. It's a failure. But again, that's just my opinion. Um, I I feel that justice has, has not been served, but we got to deal with it for now because we're past that. And so that's where we are anyway. Have a nice Wednesday night. Um, it's great to be alive, folks. All the different challenges and victories and defeats that come our way in 2020. It's great to be alive. I hope you can experience them with an, uh, a cheerful and happy and hopeful mind. Have a great evening.